because I was going to bring my even faster. People were already on here? Never started it. What's up? We're going to be doing this. Supplementing a tumbler. Then we're going to screen print. How does that look? Look. Too close? What's up? We're going to be supplementing a um, tumbler. Look what I just did. Look what I just did. Um, yeah, I've already printed it out. I have the Sawgrass 800, not the 1000. Sawgrass 800. Here's the image we're going to put on there. See how it comes out. Since I'm doing a class tomorrow, right? Um, we're gonna be doing this. What's up, Flex? What's going on? Um, got my, my little heat tape. Sublimation. Check that out. This is my wife picked. She wanted this. So we'll do this in a little bit when more people get in here because people are probably gonna wanna see this. Got the uh, convection oven right here, warming up. What's up, D Strong? What's going on? Whenever you're ready. We're gonna do this. And I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do another one of these. Check that out with that uh, Rakoma machine over there. I just did this one. I think I did it too much to the to the left or something like that. But it looks good though. Too much, too close to the left. No, it looks perfect. Does it? Yeah, it's just too close. That's what I said. Yeah. Look, that's what I just did. Look at me. Look at me now. Where we at? Look, I just did that. I just did that. That's not vinyl. Look. Embroidery. Look at me. Look at me. Woo-wee. Looks pretty good, right? I'm going to set one up and we're going to do one again. We're going to do another one so I can show you guys. So we're going to do... Oh, you guys that just got here. Supplementation tumbler. We're gonna do this. I'm doing these for work. It's pretty cool, huh? Um, so you'll hear, you'll hear that thing. See, look at 
tearaway. D hoop. So I just did a black one. I'm gonna do a red one. While I'm waiting for the oven to heat up. We're gonna finish screen printing those. Uh, we're gonna do some screen printing. We're gonna do screen printing, embroidery, and sublimation tonight. So um, I'm gonna set up this shirt right here. So I, I'm just used to doing it from the way I, and I'm gonna show you, Lily, we're gonna do it right now. Let me grab a shirt. What's up, Bride Beats? We're fixing to do a little bit of everything tonight. What's up, Waldo? So, I don't have the Mighty Hoops, right? This is how I do it. Just like this. You can see that. If I can't see you, it's because the camera's facing down here. Right, so, I'm using the D hoop. Um, Where's that little ruler at? This ruler right here, I use this, and I go off just like vinyl and, um, vinyl and, what's the other stuff called? Screen printing. Yeah, that. I go off of this right here. The seam right here. Right? So I go off of this seam, like I always do for everything, and then I use this, whatever this is called, soluble pencil thingamabob, right? Do that. So now I have my line that goes straight this way. <clears throat> Where did I do the other one at? So I did a test print, right? Here's my test one that I did. And with this test one, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up where I, about where I want the top to go, not the middle, right? I do, the, I do it by the top. So this is the one that I just did, right? You guys can see that. This is the one I just did, right? So I'm right underneath this button right here just to try to keep them all the same. So I'm going to do the same thing. So, well, this one has two buttons. I bought different shirts because we're trying to figure out which ones we want to use for work. So I'm, I'm going to go about right here. About right there. And then what I'm gonna do, and then what I do, since this is the way I'm doing it right now, until I buy the Mighty Hoops, right? I get where I want the top of this, and then I come across. Like that, that's how I'm doing it right now. I'm going to go up a little bit because I want it to be matching with this. So I think I'm going to come about right there. I want it to be no lower than the whatever you call this thing. Something like that. See that? We're not going off this one. We're going off this one up here. We're going off this one and that line. Stick the hoop in there. What's up? Right, here's the top of my image. Then I'm not even going to put any backing in there right now. 
and then the top push it in now that I got it in place I'm gonna come over here push it the rest of the way in and then you come here with this little thing and you tighten it what's up Shane how's it going all right, so we got it nice and tight, right? I mean, I don't have no backing in there. Here it is right here. I'm just using my um, stuff that I use for screen printing. So we're gonna bring it over here to the embroidery machine. I'm coming, I'm bringing you. My phone don't fall off this thing. This is tricky. I rigged up my phone on this uh, tripod. What's she doing? You okay? The joys of being live. Let's see where we at. What is that? What was that? Oh, what was that? My daughter over there being my my niece scared my daughter. What's up, Big Will? All right, now we're gonna put this in here, right? We slide in there, good to go. All right, now what we're gonna do is I already have my image done because I just did this one, right? So I'm gonna trace my image. We're using the MT-1501 from Rakoma, right? Hopefully, so you do a trace like that. Um, so this is my line, if you guys can still see this. Let's see, there we go. Yeah, there's my line right there that we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna slide the shirt over where I want it. About right there. And then I'm gonna do a trace again, because what I wanna make sure, it, when you do a trace like this, What you are doing is you are making sure that this, when you hold this down like this and you trace, we are making sure that this doesn't hit any of the hoop. Because if it hits the hoop, you could break this. All right. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm bringing it down a little bit because I want to make sure it goes up here to this line. So we'll trace it again. Good. I'm gonna bring it over off the line just a little bit one more time make sure we're good we're good so let me show you guys what we're doing over here so we are doing where we at here's the image we're doing I hope let's see hopefully you can see that right so this is the image we're doing it's got 30,000 stitches. It doesn't tell you how long it's gonna take um, on here, but 30,000 stitches. We have 13 color changes, right? So those are all my colors right there. Um, with this machine, you can set up these individual, like if I wanted to put red there, I could. If I wanted to put white there, I could. But I have mine set up different than this. So whenever it comes to setting up the colors, like number two for me is white. Number 15 is silver, number three is black, number one is red, and those are, and then two is, I mean, two is white, and then we have 13, 13 is gold, right? So those are the four colors that I'm using, white, red, black, gold. Oh, and some silver, which is 15, 15 right there. All right, so then you hit start, when you hit start, check it out. I'm not gonna leave you guys here the whole time watching this because it is gonna take a while. But while this thing is going, 
while this thing is going, uh, whenever we get ready to do this, um, we're going to go to a commercial because Rye, Rye wants a commercial. This video is brought to you by Rye, DJ Rye from Rye Beats. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. Hey, if you're here, go check out Rye Beats YouTube channel. All right, so here we go. Whoa. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to do what Rye said and we're going to hit the green button. Hold on, I got to go use the restroom. I'll be right back. Just kidding. A non paid commercial. So here we go. This is the black. It's laying down the. Oh! See? Talking all that crap. Where's my. Uh... See, talking all that, I didn't put a backing on there, right? So I need to put this. So what I'm gonna do is, see, I almost forgot to put this. So I'm gonna bring it under here, bring it under, and all I'm gonna do is just stick it like this. Just like this. It. Since I did that, now I gotta start it over because I forgot to put it in there. My fault. We'll blame it on Rye since he's the one that made me push the button when I wasn't ready. So, what? All right, so that's in there. Now I gotta redo my black. Cause I cut it. Good to go. Your fault, right? All right, so we're good. All right now, we're good again. Hopefully. And then we're gonna hit the button. Yeah, it's all your fault, man. All right, so it's laying down the black right now. We'll let it do that for a little bit. Let me check this oven over here. like a vinyl cutter but not a vinyl cutter so we're stitching this all right so we're gonna let this continue we're gonna go sublimate that um, tumbler That looks good. That's Rye's fault right there. Uh oh, let's see what happens. Huh? Hats? Oh, I haven't done many hats, but I would use the 75 right here. 
7511. Uh, can you see that? 7511. And I have this 65.9 that I use for, um, what did I use it for the other day? Polyester shirt, something like that. Yeah, I was gonna use the ballpoint, but I couldn't find on here. Hey, what's going on, Scott? I was gonna use the ballpoint for polyester, but since I couldn't find any here locally and I didn't wanna order them, and I really wanted to try this, I just, um, I used a thinner needle. I used the 65, or the 69, whatever it was, the 65.9. And right now that one's using the 75. All right, so we're gonna let this keep on going and we'll be back. My what? Oh, dang it. It's like when I first started screen printing, right? All right, so here's what we're gonna be doing. This one right here. This is the one Lori wants on a tumbler, so we're gonna do it. We ordered these right here. We got a whole bunch of these in. We ordered a hundred of them. I told you guys yesterday if you were here. And we sold them all in two days at the store, crazy. So, but being that I had, a, I have a class tomorrow, we have a class, check it out. We have a class Saturday and class Sunday, look at that. Put up the projector, cause we're gonna, man, already, this has to be rice fault. But, um, we're gonna, so I have a class tomorrow, so we're just getting, I was just getting ready. We're gonna be showing the screen. So we got this projector, so whatever I'm doing on my screen, I can show it on the screen up there. All right, so I'm gonna try to line this up. All right, this is what we do with this. Stop moving. This is the first time I'm doing this. I did a, I did a silver one. Um, but I'm gonna try this one now. I haven't done a white one yet, but I'm gonna do a class tomorrow. That's what's up, right? Let's see. Here we go. Line this up. Got some tape right here. Some heat tape. That's it, right? And then, the classes are gonna be taught here. We're gonna do the classes here, so let me show you. Uh, loosen this up, loosen this up. So if you look, I'll take, I'll take that off the desk, but we have desks set up all inside of here. That's Emily. Say hi, Emily. If you call the store during the day, Emily's here. She's my, she's my full-time employee. And as we swing it around, we bring it around town and we got the wife right there. That's Lori. Say hi, Lori. You're supposed to say hi, Lori. Hi, Lori. Look at her, she's a borracha over there. Look at her, drinking that in the, in the wine glass, trying to act like it's tea. You know it's not tea. <laughs> All right, so. Um, yeah, so about when I get ready to do screen printing classes, it's going to be around around this here, right? And then that way. So we got those benches right there. And then we have, for tomorrow's classes, we have desks set up. But it's going to be here in this location, not the vinyl stand. Do you offer online classes? Um, yesterday, whenever I did a live yesterday, there was someone that was asking about online classes. Um, I, do, I do have Zoom, the one that you pay for. Um, so I do want to, um, you know what I mean? So if anybody's interested in it, send me an email um, and then we can get a couple people together so that we could do the same thing. All right, so here's what I'm gonna use right here. This shrink wrap. I like to, for me personally, I like to cut the bottom off just because it's like this so that these ends right here don't crease up on me. Something, it's something that I do. I'm out, if you do this and you don't do that. What? 
live blog blogs. All right, so see, I just cut that off right there. And now both sides of this is open. Now I'm gonna stick this in here, like this, and then I'm gonna use my breath. It's gonna take a while, but by using my hot breath, what's gonna happen is it's gonna shrink around there, okay? <sighs> no, I'm just kidding. Lori said it's not because it's hot, because it stinks. That's messed up. <laughs> It's gonna get there, just, hey, we might be here a couple hours, but you know what? <sighs> We're gonna get there, stick around. Um, until then, go watch the embroidery machine do its thing. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so here we go. This is what I'm gonna do right here. This is, is a heat gun. You can buy these. Um, where did I get this at? What is, Heart and Hustle Printing at yahoo.com. Um, Harbor Freight, you can go online and probably find these for a lot of money. Go to Harbor Freight if you have a Harbor Freight. So what we're going to do is some magic questions. What you don't want to do is you don't want to leave it in one place too long because then what you're going to do is you're going to make a hole in this and you could expose it to where you're not getting a, a nice seal. So um, I've seen people put, like I do, three pieces of tape and then wrap the whole thing in tape. I mean, it's your preference on however you want to do it. Um, but I use the shrink wrap just like this. Looks good. Like I said, this is the first time I'm doing one. No lies. I mean, I did the, I did a chrome one that we that we have on display at the store, but I haven't done a white one. So here is my high speed oven. Right, 400 degrees. I'm gonna put it for five minutes. I guess five minutes. All right, so we're gonna give it a try at five minutes and see what happens. All right, so it's at 528. We're gonna wait till it counts down just a little bit. All right, sublimation tumbler. You guys get to check it out. If I mess it up, you're gonna see it here. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it in here just like that. We're gonna let it sit there for five minutes. Hopefully, hopefully it comes out good. Right? So while this is in here, let's go check out the embroidery machine. It just finished the black, now it's going to white. Cuts it for me. Look at that. If you guys do this kind of work right here, and you guys need a digitizer, um, if you go to my Instagram stories, um, the people that I follow over there on, I mean the people that I follow, um, the, the guy that I tag in all my embroidery machine, all my embroidery videos, he's the one that does my digitizing. He does a really good job. And the good thing about him is if there's something wrong with it, he'll fix it for me right away. So if you guys need um, some digitizing done, check him out. If you guys want an embroidery machine like this, go down below, click the link. With, uh, with my link, you get that little special $100 off. $250 off of a multi-head embroidery machine. 
I mean, then with, with approved credit, you can get 0% financing and low monthly payments. So if you're interested in an embroidery machine, take advantage of that. Beautiful. As long as you have a good digitizer, um, someone doing your work, if you're doing it yourself, if you, if you know how to digitize stuff, um, then you're good, you know what I mean? Because look at this. That little piece cuts it, moves it out the way, brings the next, next piece around. And if something happens to it, because a lot of people talk about Rakoma machines, if something happens to it, we're live, I can't edit it out, right? What, what is that guy? So these, I, I want to get these to look right because um, we're trying to get these for, do these shirts for work. And if I can get these shirts for work at $20 a piece times 50 people, that's pretty good money. You know what I mean? Kristen, are you talking about how fast the needle's going? I'm, I, I'm still new to this. Um, so, if you, oh, stitches per minute. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm doing 700. 700. So the good thing about it is, let me see if you can see this. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still learning the whole, um, still learning the whole embroidery stuff. So I can come here with this and I can hit the minus sign. So right now it's at 700, right? And if I want to, I can slow it down. And you can hear the difference in it. So now I'm at about 600, but you can see the difference, how slow it started going. But at 700, I just did one of these at 700 and it was good. So here's the one I just did. I just did this one. All right, we got one minute. Let's go. All right, so we got one minute until this thing is done. No, they don't. I just bought it because I wanted to try it. It's sublimation though. Mm -hmm. It's just, I don't know, it is though. 18 seconds. Hopefully I can get this thing out of there without it burning. Let's see though. All right, it's done. I'm gonna go dump this in water real quick. Get it wet. All right, so by putting it under water, I just stopped the sublimation process and I cooled it down. So let's take a look at this. So you guys are gonna get to see right here, right now, live, if I mess it up. So we'll see. We will see.
my gosh. I don't want to scratch it. So I'm trying not to use this razor blade. What's another way to take this off? Look at that. That is beautiful. That's where the seam is at. Right here. You can so the seam came out good. Look, being that it's like flowers like that, you can hard, hardly even tell. Look, these two look like they go together. If you guys like this, give me a thumbs up. Look at that. It looks good. Beautiful. So I gotta give a class, I'm giving a class on these tomorrow. I'm gonna give a class over the sawgrass and um, sublimation tumbler right here. Huh? You got these, and then it comes with the lid too. Look at that. Sweet. Cool. Let's go check out our machine now. The embroidery machine. So we're still at 700 stitches per minute. The SPM South Park Mex. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, 700 stitches per minute. That's what we're doing, and it's looking good. What do y'all think of this? Is it coming out good? Let's see my chat. Texas finest apparel. What's up, Frankie? All right, so we're going to let this keep on going. We'll check back in in a minute. And we're going to come over here. And we're going to start on these. We got to continue these from yesterday, last night. So again, we're doing the, remember I told you yesterday, um, with plastic saw ink, you can leave it out. You can leave it out and not have to worry about your screen clogging. So we're gonna see if that happens. I'm just gonna give a wipe on the bottom of the screens. So, Here's our white underbase again. Good. Turn on the conveyor drive.
this one. I already got the screen ready for the next job too. The next job, what we're going to be doing is this one. So this is the next one that we're going to be wet. 300 shirts to do this one right here. Does that look right? Yeah, it's backwards to me. Have you thought of getting... No. I mean, I thought of, but I wouldn't do this image in DTG because um, the, only way, the only reason I would do DTG is someone wanted a full print, like a full color picture. That's the only reason why I think I would need DTG. But for something like this, no, nah, I don't need BTG because this is simple. Look. I mean, if, I, if my shop gets busy enough to where I would need a DTG, maybe I would get one. But for right now, I don't. <clears throat> so there's my white underbase. Even with DTG, when you're doing DTG, you have to put a white underbase when you're doing color. Um, and, and the reason is, <laughs> and the reason is if I, this is the next color that I'm gonna print right here, this teal. If you put teal on black, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a darker teal color. But by putting white down, you get, you keep the integrity of the color. See that? And that's because I put white down. If I didn't put white down, it wouldn't look like that. So we're going to finish some shirts. And then after the shirts, um, if you can see back there. Um, right here, look. We've got we to do all those hoodies too. So um, we can knock out these these shirts that'll be good because then we could do I could knock out the hoodies and they could pick these up tomorrow or Monday whenever they're ready for them Do we have an empty box? Oh, I got one right here. The empty box is to, so you can see that? See how good that looks? Where are you located? We're in Evans. Um, Linda, I'm in Evans, Georgia. What would be the difference and finished product of these screen printed between dryer and heat press. Um, so the difference, Christian, is um, when you put them on here, you have a little lift of the ink when you pull it up, right? So you'll have like, it's not a rough finish, but next time you go to the store and you see some shirts on the shelf, go up to them and touch them and you're gonna feel like, uh, like a sandpaper feel. And that's what you get. Um, with, with um, what we're doing. When, when you put them under a heat press, what the heat press does um, is it will then flatten out the flatten out the ink, make it really smooth, and it basically and it really feels like vinyl when you do that. So I'm gonna put two coats of this blue on there. How long does it take to dry? I put them under, so I'm putting them under the flash dryer right here. This is my, you can see that. So that's the flash dryer. That just gives, that doesn't dry it, that doesn't cure it. What it does is it just basically um, dries the top, level, the top layer of what I'm doing so that I could put another layer of ink on top of that. So if you keep putting ink over ink over ink, you're only drying 
the top. You're not fully curing the ink all the way. No. What did they say? Yeah. So that was the flash dryer over there. That's what it was doing over there. Um, it turns on for six seconds. I have it set for six seconds. I don't have it um, set for a really high temperature because that thing could burn your shirts because it's, it's a really, really good um, flash dryer. All right, so here's, here's the finished pineapple right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come and I'm gonna put on everything else I'm gonna put some more white ink this is my ink cart right here I put all my ink Whenever I'm doing something, I put all my ink on this card. I keep, I try to keep my ink away from my shirts because I don't want to get ink on my shirts. All right, so. Yeah, watch this. I got an apron. I'm gonna put it on. Since I, since I like to get ink all over everything, they bought me an apron to wear. So let's see how this thing looks. Are you look weird. Be a weirdo. I do, I do. Let me see that bucket right there, Trent. The black, the white one. This one? The, give, yeah, that one. I got this from Top Transfers, that's what they do. Um, plastic salt transfers so I do have this this is for um, plastic salt transfers I just haven't got I haven't gotten the paper yet so I have black ink I have white ink um, and I have uh, the powder that goes with it man I think I got it on backwards no no I'm good look at me don't pull it tight pull it here. Here's this and kids man about to fight her So here we go. Doing our white ink. So there's our white ink. But with the white ink, I'm going to do two, maybe three passes of it. Two should be good. Whoa. Got to move that out of the way. I'll screen print it. I'll screen print the. Uh, I'll screen print this. I want it whenever I do screen printing classes. I want to get some of, some of these, some extra ones, so that when people come in, I can give them to them too. And then when they go home and barbecue, they'll have one. Yeah, if I ever if I ever get into it, I will. If I get into doing plastic salt transfers in the future, definitely, definitely will. I even have the powder too. I have the powder um, to do. To, um, the only thing I'm missing is the paper. That's the only thing I don't have. So that was our first pass of white ink. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to add the second coat of white ink. But it's basically the same thing when you're screen printing. But you would do this image when I'm printing it would be the reverse way. Because then when you heat press it onto a shirt, it's like vinyl, you have to reverse it, if that makes sense.
Oh, the classes? I'm not sure yet, Kenny. Um, I want to soon, but right now we're we're just we're just busy right now. But I would like if I did a class, I would want everybody to do their own image because this press right here, you could print on every single head. So if I wanted to print this here and have the till over on the other side, so that I could print the white underbase. When it gets over there, they could print the till. When it comes back over here, I could print the white again. I could do that with this press. Um, so that would that's what would what what would be good um, for whenever I gave a class because um, I can have people printing. If we had I wouldn't have six people because I wouldn't want everybody next to each other um, with everything that's going on. So if I did a class, it'd probably be for like four people um, so that we could keep everybody social distancing and keep everybody safe. You know what I mean? So we're good. Okay, I'll let you know, Kenny, for sure. So on this one, my blue got pulled up a little bit, so I'm just gonna hit it one more time to give me my color back. Same thing on this one. So one thing to know if you do get into screen printing, if if you flood your screen and you push it and then it comes around again and you wanna you wanna put a second coat on it, if you flood it, don't pull it because what's gonna happen is the ink is gonna spread different and it's gonna leave a ghost effect. So if you push it the first time, push it the second time. If you pull it the first time, pull it the second time. Take the shirts off from me. No. There's not really anything to do right now because you have to be careful with that because you don't want to um, get the ink on the screens. You can go watch what she's doing. So, my sister in law is over there and she's taking them off and putting them into the conveyor dryer. What? So Oh, not these. Because we didn't order a lot of these. So I can break them. I can break them for her here. I'm going to break them here. So that whenever I swing the church, it'll be easier for her to pull off. And then what I'm going to do is... Yeah, not these. So we're gonna start putting these on again. So being that these are tanks, I'm going two fingers under. Fill my seams, wherever the seams are at. As long as they feel the same on both sides, we should be good. What's up? If you have something like this on your on it, make sure you take that off because this stuff here, what it's going to do is it'll mess up your print. So make sure you take that off if you have that, those little fibers or whatever they are. What's the cost of the I'm thinking if we do the class, it's going to last a while. It's going to be a couple hours, it's probably going to be. Include lunch, so it'll probably be anywhere from 100 to 130 for the class. It'll probably be like four hours long because you're gonna get the full um, experience of putting them. You probably won't get to put emulsion onto a screen, but you will get. A, I will do like a teach you how to do it. You know what I mean? For the online class, for for what? Now that would depend on what we're doing. So for like the tumbler, it's kind of hard to do because 
um, you'd have to be here to do that. You know what I mean? And what I was telling someone yesterday is whenever we did a, if we do a class for a Tumblr, I have to send you the Tumblr. Um, and then whenever you get it, send you the Tumblr, send you the sublimation print, send you the the shrink wrap so that whenever you get it, you can follow along and then you can do it yourself. All right, Kenny, yeah, I'll let you know. But yeah, it's gonna be, it'll be a, like a four hour class, three hour class, but we'll have lunch, we'll have all that good stuff, you know what I mean? Um, so that, huh? Screen printing class, it wouldn't be so much because you probably would. You, you first of all, you wouldn't be here. Um, Esmeralda, what's going on? Texas, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm from Texas too. Look, um, what was I gonna say? So, the online class for, for screen printing, I really haven't put thought into that because I thought it would be something that someone would actually want to do. But if we did, I mean, we can always do a Zoom, a Zoom thing invite you into the zoom have you there in the screen you know what i mean and bring you along as we're doing it you know what i mean so y'all didn't see this or if you weren't here yesterday so what we're doing over here is whenever i print them they come out over there then they take my sister-in-law takes them off puts them in there and then they come through hey Don what's going on so it's, here it comes so when it goes through here it's going under there for 40 seconds Kenny wants a class on the graph tech yeah I can so here it comes and when it comes out of there it's fully dry it's hot right now it's hot But if you look at the print, it looks really, really good. Like this one's called the Balance Few, and FEW stands for Fitness, Encouragement, and Wellness. So these look good. Looks good. So if you guys want, you can go follow the Balance Few on Instagram. All right? Check them out. Check her out. Look at me with my apron on. Go ahead. Let me see. I got half a battery. So here's the thing about that color is I made it. So let me see. Watch it because you're going to get ink on it. You're going to get ink on it. This is the color that it is right here. And I don't want to open it because I don't want to get it get it on my hands. But look, if you can see that, that was the color, but she wanted it lighter than that. So here's the color. So if you can see how dark this is, the focus compared to that. So I got a little mixing bowl. Where are we at? See that little mixing bowl right there? I just put some of this in there and then I added white to it until she liked it. So since whenever she said, yep, it was good to go, that's whenever I uh, started printing this.
me a favor, hit that thumbs up for me one time. One time. If you've already done it, I appreciate you. Appreciate you guys. Take a second, hit that thumbs up while you watch me uh, print these muscle shirts or whatever they are, crop tops. What's that? Oh, you, you like the little oven? Unfortunately, with the what? <laughs> that one. So I wanted one that I could I could fit the tumblers in there standing up. I didn't want to have to lay them down. You know what I mean? So I looked for that one and I found it online. Um, I think it's like an Oster. There's Oster or something like that. And that's the one that I bought. Okay, so the embroidery machine stopped, and what happened was the bobbin ran out. So we gotta add bobbin to it, so that it can continue to uh, stitch that out. That's the good thing about it. When it runs out of bobbin, it stops. Um, it stops where it's at, and then whenever you put the new bobbin into it, it'll continue right where it left off. You want to take these off, too? Take them off what? You want to take them off? Like and put them in the dryer? Yeah. Yeah. I'll show you, I'll show you how to do it. I'm going to show my daughter how to take these off. Put them in the dryer. I hope that she doesn't get them. She doesn't let the ink touch. And it's pretty much... By the time it comes around to her, by putting them in there, it's pretty much dried. So I'm going to turn this down. It's not cured, but the outside layer is dried. So don't take these off yet, Trent. Wait till I go over there. So I'm going to bring you over here. I work a lot of hour days, to be honest with you. I don't even know. So, let's go. So what she's going to do is, we're going to put you like this. All right, just like this. Say hi, Trinity. Hi. All right, so what, what she's going to do is, get out of the way. Huh? Yeah, that's cool. So, Linda, I'm, I'm actually in the military, so I, go, I went to work this morning. I was supposed to go to work at 4, but it was freezing. Um, so they told us, hey, just show up at 8 o'clock. So that was good. Um, I got up at 6 o'clock, 
I got up at 6 o'clock this morning, and then I'll be here until who knows what time. It's 9.35. Probably 11 o'clock. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, what, what I want her to do is just to grab this like this, and she's going to bring it off like this. She's going to put it on here, and she's going to bring it back just like that. Look at this apron. All right, so now I'm going to let her try it. We're going to let her try it, right? So let's go try it. Future of Hardin Hustle printing right here. Let's go. No, nope. it's already broke, already broke it. Okay, good. See that? She did it. So the dryer doesn't need a vent. It has one, it's right here. I just need to get it and put it outside the building. Um, it's not, if it, if it, so what it does is if it gets like smoky in here, we open the doors and it goes out, but um, I don't have it to where it's smoking, so it's, it's usually good. Go ahead, take that off, put it over there. So while she's taking these off, I'm going to start loading the other ones over there. Hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna move you right here. Right. So we're gonna we're gonna work this, we're gonna try to work this differently. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do this as a team. Check this out. We're gonna see what happens. <clears throat> we're gonna try to do this as a team, right? You can see everything that's going on. Excuse me being quiet. I'm having cereal for dinner. <laughs> the design on the shirt, you like the design on the shirt? Yeah. So the, the whole thing that's going on with this is this lady is a, what is she, a, no, she's a, no, she's a personal trainer. That's what she is. So she's a personal trainer. And what she did with these shirts is she's raising, what she did is um, she is selling these shirts and all the profit, all the profit or everything that's made from these shirts is going to, um, what is it called? Trafficking? Yeah. It's going to human trafficking. So if you guys want to... It's not going to it. No, it's, yeah, it's not going to it. You know what I mean, right? It's for a good cause. It's not going to someone that doesn't. Yeah, it's, it's going to prevent human trafficking. So go if you guys like this design and you guys want to buy one, go to, um, I don't know what she's selling them for, but you guys can go to um, the Balance View on Instagram, send her a message and just tell her I sent you. I, I don't get nothing out of it. I'm, doing, I'm printing them for her. Um, but you guys can go to Instagram, the Balance View, send her a message if you're interested in one of these. Um, all of these that we're printing are already already taken. What's going on, Jesse? So if you guys want one, make sure you get in touch with her. Um, Cause when I'm done with this, I'm gonna clean the screens off, unfortunately. Um, so make sure you guys get in touch with her if you guys want one. So what we're gonna be doing right now is, 
my sister-in-law Emily, she's going to be printing my my sister. My daughter is going to be taking them off and I'm going to be um no, I'm not promoting human trafficking. Don't say that. <laughs> um it's going you know what I mean. It's going to the organization that prevents it. That's what I meant. <laughs> um yeah, but I'm going to be I'm going to be putting the shirts on there and then we're going to try to keep this going. And we're going to see how this goes. So, as we're doing this, hopefully she can screen print them. We'll see. So with the light, I just need to do the white and the beast. So since I have the laser right here, I'm gonna stand right here. And as she brings that around, she's gonna start printing. So that whenever, whenever you print, I'll be able to care and make sure you're It's like I have an automatic, because all I'm doing is loading them, right? Here you go. One job, Emily. This one came out good. She just had a little bit of ink left in the screen. How much? So let me ask, answer Frankie's question first. Um, sublimation and their seam. Hey, yo, I made a mask using sublimation and there's a seam on the mask. How do you get rid of it? I don't know. I don't know what kind of mask you're pressing, you know what I mean? Um, Lily, how long have you known them? I'm not sure who they're talking about. Is it, mask? Is it the mask that goes like this where it has a seam in the middle? Or is it one like this that goes like that? If it's one like this, you supplement the whole thing. If it has the line in the middle, then you got to do one side and then do the other side. Good, Emily. So that's that's what that is about. Um, someone asked what the choke was. Uh, Martin, Martin, the choke that I did on this, I think, is a six. Six. I choked up under base at a six. Who do you follow, Lily? Are you talking about me? Yeah. Oh, Lily's been here like from the beginning. I think when I had like she's ten. She's saying that she's followed you so long that she knows when you say something wrong, she knows what you're talking about. Oh, and that's always happening, right, Lily? No, 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 no. But we did, we did, if you just got here, um, if you just got here right now, if you go back to the beginning of the video, um, when we first started this, we did, I was going to say screen print, we did supplement this. Yeah, I know Lily's been here since like the very, very beginning. Frankie's been here from the very, very beginning. Being Pam has been here for a while. While they're doing this, let's go check out this. Uh, let's go check this out real quick. Oh, what is choke? I'll show you in a minute. Choke. No, I'm just kidding. So let's look at it. Looking good, right? Look at that. Looking good. That and I knew nothing. I know nothing about this. I'm starting to learn more and more every time I do something. Uh, Darren, no, I didn't digitize it. I didn't digitize it myself. 
Um, I don't know the dude's name that digitizes it for me, but if you go to Instagram and look at any of the videos where I do this, um, he is tagged in it, so check him out. He does really good work. What size is the design? I want to say like three and a half inches. I think something like that. Yeah, so Lily, what it is, what, what it is when you choke it is, so you don't have to get the design exactly the same. And this is what I, I used this yesterday as a reference, like. So if this is the main print right here, and this is my second print, that's how I did it, just like this. So um, this is the white underbase, and whenever you do the white underbase, and then you put the bigger design on top of it, it overlaps the underbase. And the underbase, what it does is, is when you're printing on something dark color, you have to put an underbase so that you get the you get the true color of that that um, color that you're printing. Look at that. That looks really good. How many PTS points? I mean, I'm still learning this. I don't know, but it's going um, 700 stitches per minute. It's 30,889 stitches. Um, P, what did you say? P what? PTS? How many points? Yeah, the tumbler was the first thing we did when we first got on here. Um, I'm getting ready to do a class tomorrow. So I got to fix that. So since we're, give, we're doing a class in here tomorrow, how does it look? Uh, so there's... It's okay. Out, it's okay. okay. Yeah. It's... So my sister-in-law was looking at this. If you look at this, let me see. So she's looking at this and she sees wellness coming out right here. And that's okay. Because what it is, is wellness is on the bottom of the screen. But if it's right here and it's on the screen, it's lined up from the original print, right? Um, so if you look at this now, right, Lily, um, being that we did that underbase, you get the true color of that teal blue that I'm using. Um, if I printed teal directly on blue, it would not look like this. So you got to put down the white and then put down the teal over it. But yeah, looks good. Keep on going. But yeah, I'm giving a class tomorrow. We're giving, I got a class Saturday and then I got a class Sunday. So let me show you what we're doing. Um, I got my sawgrass set up right here. We got our tripod. We got a projector right there that we're gonna put on the tripod, tripod to project up there. So that whenever I'm giving the class, um, I got desk in here for class, right? So they're gonna be sitting all around here. They're gonna go right there. And then um, they can see everything that I'm doing because I'm gonna plug the HDMI into my computer and it's gonna be showing up there. Y'all get it? That's how that's gonna work. Um, what was the question? What if she ordered more shirts? Would you know exactly what you did to get that color? Yeah. Well, I, w I don't, so what I do is I don't print them until they're satisfied with the color, if that makes sense. Um, so she came in here, I mixed the color. I said, what do you think? Um, we do test prints. We have, we have these little things down here I have these right here and what they are is it's just a black piece of felt and then we print that so that um, to make sure that they're satisfied with the color that they're, that I'm printing so if she if she wasn't happy with the color um, it took a while to get the color right um, but when you look at that that screen over there we got a lot of that teal blue on there so this is what this is what I do we print it like this to make sure everything's going to come out right. Print it on one of these um, Pellon, they call them Pellon sheets, I, I believe. So I even did something like this. So I did... Um, for this order, we did white with a white pineapple. I did white with a pink pineapple, with the white words with a pink pineapple. And then the third group, the... Um, is the teal. A 
of the two. Yeah, Oh, turn off so I can get the full so I forgot to turn if y'all were here yesterday I forgot to turn this thing back on so as she was printing it it wasn't even drawing the, the ink on let me show you this one um, those of y'all that are here For the first time, this is how this flash dryer works. You can see this. Go ahead, Em. See that? So if you look at this one over here, I just the the last one. This one has different zones, so I could turn them off. Um, so if I turn this one on and now I hit it, you'll see all of them turn on. But I don't need. I'm not printing down there at the bottom. So I don't need the, the back of it on. You know what I mean? So I don't want the back over there on, so I just turn that off. And I just want the front on right here. I go ahead and rotate it. So as you come around, there's a sensor on here. Right here is a sensor. So when the pallet goes under there, it turns on for, wait, where's it at? There's a sensor right there. Go ahead, Em, go to the next one. And then when it goes and it hits that, it does that right there. And then the cool thing about this is it has a timer right here. I could set the timer from one to six seconds. And I have it for six seconds right now. Peachy, what's going on? How you been? Peachy has also been here from the very beginning. I think the dude that digitizes my uh, my work is here. Um, Cause every time I say I don't know his name, he sends me a message. But I can't check it because um, I'm live, so sorry. You can just write in the comments. Oh, no, you can write in the comments. All right, so these are nice and dry. I can touch them now and I might get no ink on me, so. But now she's gonna put down the white. I'm gonna put down the words that are going around it, you know what I mean? Hey, if you're here and you do the digitizing for my embroidery over there, put your name out there or put your Instagram tag so that they can go look for you if someone's interested. Hooked on the hustle, what's up? Been good, I'm happy for you and the business. Thank you, Peachy, thank you. Um, like I tell you guys, um, you guys helped me out. You guys helped me out a lot when I came to this. Look at the white. She act like she knows what she's doing over there. Lori said no, that's her sister. Look at Lori, she's right here, look. Up, Gina. She said, what's up, Gina? I don't know what Trinity's doing over there. She ain't doing nothing. <laughs> How many strokes do you do each time? Um, so with this white, so we did one coat of the white underbase, and with that, we just did one. After we did the first coat of the white underbase, we went back, we did one coat of teal um, because it's good. You know what I mean? We got the white underbase, the white teal, and we're good. So now what we're doing right now is this last coat, we'll probably do two. I'm gonna look at it and see how it looks. So we'll probably hit the white two times. Um, I, I was telling I was telling my sister-in-law yesterday that I went to go eat lunch because they were doing a go, a go away for for some uh, a guy at work, and uh, Lori's supervisor. <laughs> 
And uh, the shirts that they had on, you could see all the black fibers coming through the white. So I try, I try to avoid that. Richard, what's going on? What's up, Joe? Looking. Yeah, it's good to have them. You know what I mean? Um, I like, I like having them here because I spend a lot of time here. Lately, we have been. It's good. So we're gonna do two passes with the white just so that we can get a good coat on it and it will have we can try to eliminate those white, I mean those black fibers coming through. I think the embroidery is done. Let me go grab it. Next job, those of you that just got here, we got 300 of these. 300 and two color changes. So we're gonna do red shirts and navy blue shirts with white, and then we're gonna do white shirts with navy blue. That's easy. This is that contract that I got, so that's what's up. turn this down a little bit now because now whenever it's flat on the on the the palette um yeah i hate color change too um but when it's flat on the palette it won't burn as easy with this but now that i break it off of the palette you can uh scorch the shirt so i turned it down a little bit Trent, are you ready Ooh. look at her already on her phone she's trying to help out she's over here on her phone Millennials, that's all they know how to do is be on their phone. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait till you see them open. Check that one over there. Huh? They're coming. Trinity's gonna start putting them into the conveyor dryer. One day. Shirt. Oh, <laughs> Several of them are extra small. Oh my goodness. 
Yep. Perfect. You'll see it whenever we print it. You know your your clothes are either washed or dry, right? This one lets me know that the image is complete. Well, like campus. So when she starts this, I'm gonna go grab that um, that piece that we just did. Good, right? I do want to get the mighty hoop though so that I can get like exactly where this thing is supposed to go. Like right now I'm just guessing. For having no uh, experience in this, it came out good. It came out good. Look at that. Look at that detail. Get you a good digitizer. And then we're going to rip this stuff off. I do it slowly. Hold down, I hold down what I did. Maybe I could do patches out of this, I don't know. But I think this looks good. And then I'll take a match to that, I'm not a match, but a lighter, to all that hairy fuzziness down there. did this one tonight on the live we did this one and I did a black one
I like the black one better. I like the way it looks on black. <laughs> I mean, they both look good. Not dumb. <laughs> Joe, were those round hoops? Uh, yes. I used a D hoop for this. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with you? So this is what I use. Uh, big camps. What's going on? I didn't even know you were here. But you've been here for a while. I used the D hoop for this. The D hoop for um, <laughs> that. Appreciate it, Peachy. Yeah, I like the black too. So they they want to go with either black, red, and white shirts. But um, I'll show it to them and let them decide. Weirdos over here. Got any questions like what's up let me know um which embroidery machine are you using i'm using the mt1501 from Macomo. let me show you yeah i'm gonna go show you look at that two coats we're gonna do two coats of white the mt1501 this is what i'm using right here this one Here's my colors. The, all of these little ones came with it. All these little tiny ones. These are some that I ordered for a job, but all these right here came with it. I just ran out of white because I was doing a lot of, um, what is it? Test, test, test on like, where's it at? The dude on here? Here it's somewhere. <clears throat> Cause I got a, um, I got a, what's it called? Contract. I got since I got a contract with the soccer league, we we have been doing a lot of stuff for them. So they want us to do. These we're gonna embroider these with their logo on it, the Bulls logo on here. So we gotta do this whole box right here. That, oh, and they have some pants. Pants to go with those. So we got all those to do. All these to do. These are, the, this is the other one that we're going to be working on. Probably not tonight, because we still got to do these hoodies right here. But these these oh you know what we should do we should do a sublimation shirt we all think about that yeah. we just got these in check this out i just ordered these i might start carrying these 100 percent polyester but they feel like cotton so if these look good with with sublimation i think we're that's a plus but we'll see we'll see how it goes See how it goes. Yeah, we'll see how late it gets. I gotta come back tomorrow. We're open on Saturdays. Oh, we're not doing, my daughter didn't want to do Girl Scouts this year. So she's not doing Girl Scouts. Yeah, she did, but then with COVID, um, she she said she was saying that she wanted to order some cookies. Which brand are they? Gildan. The ones that I just showed you were Gildan. Gildan. 
All right, well, I'm, since Trinity's over here on her phone, I'm not even on my phone. Daddy's got it. <laughs> now she wants to come. So I'm gonna go ahead and start loading these. We're almost done with these shirts, so we just got the hoodie. put them under the flash dryer before I put them into the conveyor dryer, is that what you said? Mm -hmm. And I told, I do. Some people do the wet, they call it wet on wet printing, I don't do that. Um, Cause I just, I just feel like every time that I do that, the blue will stick to the bottom of the white and then it pulls it up. It, it makes the image go off. You want to give me some more Here, come over here. I'm gonna start loading some of these hoodies on. So I might add, I might have to add some. some I don't Hopefully this fits on the fits on this palette. I need to order some. Um, yeah, they are. I need to order some uh, kid palettes. This might be kind of tight. some kid palettes for this. And we got this one here. So with hoodies, you have to be careful because of all these fibers that are in here. You have to be careful with that because sometimes the image could lift up. So you have to be very, very careful. Um, this is a crop hoodie from Bella Canvas.
here we go. Starting on hoodies. I'm gonna try something. Oh no, I can't. I wanted to try to print the teal, but the teal's right here. If it was over there, I was gonna print the teal, but it wasn't, so I can't. I was gonna try it, but it's all right. Next time. So our one color and then flashing it, flashing it there, bring our color back around. Um, and then we'll print the, she's gonna print the till after that, which is that color right there. She thinks she's cool. Baby shirt. After that, I wanna, I wanna go flat down now real quick. So go ahead. That little gray shirt has a lot of fibers coming up. Yeah, we, we've been getting a lot of hoodies, I'm telling you. Let me see what All I'm doing with this, because this shirt has a lot of little fibers, I'm just coming back with it. And I'm trying to flatten it out. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah. Right, so that looks way better. You can't, you really can't see it, but there's a lot of, this is like a furry shirt or something like that. I don't know what it is. Alright, so you're good. What I want to do is, I, I was telling uh, the people that were here yesterday, is I want to move these lasers to face over there where the conveyor dryer is at, over there, wherever it's at, so that we could take them off and load them at the same time next to the conveyor dryer instead of the way I'm doing it right now. It would just make more sense. See that? Looks good. Hit it again. Lay a piece of parchment paper over it, and then rub your hand over the paint. I used to, I used to do that with um with with an, I used to put parchment paper and then put an iron over it when I was having a lot of problems with the Bella Canvas hoodies. I get hoodies locally, but I but they're ten. Is that a decent price for Gildan? No, because Gildan you can buy um, online if you have a resale license. You're probably like eight bucks. Right. Yeah, we will. Can you see that? Can you see those little hairs coming through that? It's because of that shirt. Yeah, it's just because of that shirt. Over there. So I'm gonna do what whoever that was that just said that. Look, let's try it. Let's try it. See if it works. He said, put it over it. It is like really hairy. Mike said. Yeah, I'm gonna do what Mike said. So I'm gonna. And you have to do it while it's hot because. Shoot, that worked, man. Look at that. All right. So now I'm gonna do the next one because that one is pulling up the fibers. It's pulling up the fibers on this one. But it's not doing it on this one. So we're, on that one, we're going to do the same thing. Just make sure you don't have no ink on this because if you put it on there, what's going to happen is it's going to transfer it over. So put this on here, like Mike said. What's that? 
Oh, okay. Appreciate the info. See what I'm saying? Um, so everything went down. But this is what I'm saying. Like, if you have this, just don't put it back over the image because then you're going to put it everywhere. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate that tip. Nah, those are good. So now we can do the white. Next time, right? Yeah, so just be careful with it. Because it's going to be thick. Make sure to jam, him, jam his stuff tonight. We just put new white ink over there. It's like very creamy, very thick. Good though. DJ live tonight. See, I can't put no music on because then, you know, YouTube is like copyright, copyright infringement. You're using copyrighted music. I don't know. I wish I was the person that got to sit there and watch people put on copyrighted music so I can always. Bust Rise lives. I would just act like I was asleep if Rye was live. I'd be like, oh, I didn't see it. I was asleep. I was sleeping. I don't know. Here it is. Rye, look. Here's the one that we just did. So we did this one and we did... I like these shirts. I think these look better. Amazing. You were here for this, right? We're giving this away. No, I'm just kidding. Lori's like, no way, that's mine. But it came out good, though. Look at that. Slower. Huh? Slower? Slower? Oh. She said slower. I was like, what are you talking about? She said, turn it slower. I was like, okay. That looks good though, right? I would do a giveaway for a blank one, but we have them all taken for the classes. Everything but the bottom. I'm going to put my logo on the bottom. Lori said no. She's the biggest hater. I think Lori's the one that always goes on my videos and gives me a thumbs down right away. As soon as the live's over, she's like, <laughs> So with hoodies, with hoodies, we get a lot of that fibrillation, whatever it's called. T-shirts are good, especially polyester shirts. You don't get none of it. So what I'm going to do with this is, because down here I'm getting it with this, with this. That looks better. Um, the balance view looks good. If you guys want to purchase one of these shirts, go to the balance view on Instagram. Send them a message. I'm waiting for my Epson printer. I'm beginning to love making tumblers. That's what's up. Yeah, we're, we're getting ready to do a tumbler class tomorrow. If you just got here, I am probably said it a hundred times, but yeah. Is this, you already did two on this one? So 
That one is good. Whoa. I almost had a boo boo there. I almost got the ink on the shirt. Yeah, I know. That looks good. This one I'll probably put under the heat press. That gray one I'll probably put under a heat press just because it's um so many fibers coming out of it with that little tiny shirt. And then, I, and then I just have a box over here. What printer did you get? The Epson printer. What do you think about the Epson? Like, honestly, I can't tell you what I think about the Epson because I've never used it, you know what I mean? But you can convert it. Here's the thing about convert. I don't know if you're getting the actual sublimation printer, Epson sublimation printer, or you're going to get the um, just the one that you have to convert. You have to be careful with those because whenever you're doing sublimation, if you're not constantly using it, what could happen is um, your head could clog on it. That's the hoodie. It came up pretty good. So I'm gonna start doing these hoodies. Cause they're gonna take the girls home. To bring some beer. What? What? I don't know what. I don't know what you said. I'm gonna see. Independent, independent hoodies. I'm using some independent hoodies here because they didn't have uh, the Bella Canvas hoodies that they wanted. They ran out of them, so we had to switch it up on them. So what I want to make sure is I'm gonna turn on this second laser over here. I'm gonna bring it down to right. There. What I did was, I did what Rye Beats does. Those are all I, um, yeah, that's the first time I use them. Since I, I like them. I like the stitch work on them. When I was looking at them, I was like, Who's, what are these? Um, I like the stitch work that they have on them. Um, I'm putting right across here, I put a laser that's right here because. I want to make sure that the bottom of this print is not going to hit that laser so that I don't print on that pocket. So we're good. Um, as long as the print don't go past that laser, we're good to go.
So I'm not putting any pellet glue just yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chance it, hopefully. We're not turning a big, heavy, white piece. So it shouldn't, it shouldn't be too bad. Trinity's got to leave. Trinity's leaving us because her boss is making her work tomorrow. She has to go work at the vinyl stand tomorrow, so she's got to leave. You leave it too? Bye. I'll see you in a little bit. Trinity said she's going to call in sick to the vinyl stand tomorrow. Maybe we should fire her. Let her go, fire her. line up um, because whenever I'm lining these up what I'm doing is center of the hoodie center of the hood center of the pocket we should be good so we're gonna do this see how it comes out under base first is it um, I think Martin is that who it was where do you guys buy your socks I don't buy I haven't bought any socks in a while um, what model Gildan was the white shirt I don't even know my sister-in-law ordered them so I don't want to lie to you she does all like whenever I get an order um, the customer comes in and she's the one that places the order for me. So I don't even know what brand they are yet. Trump, that's it. So we got our white underbase. Go ahead. That's right. Just take this.
even with like even with these hoodies the thing about them is like so much so much fiber so what i usually do um is go back and heat press them so that whenever you heat press it takes away any of those fibers that are standing up or that are coming through the print another thing i like to do is <clears throat> um flash it like this and then when i bring it back out since i don't have a flattening screen i'm just going to take this and run it over it one time I didn't have I don't have a lot of jobs um, I didn't have a lot of jobs when I first started um, so that's why we got went with this one right um, if things pick up then yeah I would love to get an automatic but I don't want to pay for something over budget if I can't if I don't have the the jobs to handle it you know what I mean really. So for now, this this right here works perfect for me. And if it works for me, I'm gonna stick with it. <clears throat> Looks good. Now we're gonna hit it with our white again. Yes, no problem. If you guys ever order from us and you have a problem with your order, not getting to you because USPS, um, who we ship through, is horrible right now. Um, just give us a call at the vinyl stand. We'll take care of it. Everything that I ship you guys, I put, I ship it priority. And with priority, it's all tracked and insured. Um, just in case, right? So if it takes longer, I can't make a claim until 15 days. If I put a claim in for it before 15 days, it gets rejected. Um, but at least if you let me know, um, I can I can let them know so that they can they'll give them a red flag and they start to look for it right away. So if you, if you order vinyl from us, um, let me know as soon as possible. Um, if it's gone over like 10 days, let me know so that I can put a claim or do something for you. You know what I mean? Because everything, like I said, priority. Two days, but not guaranteed. That's crazy. So it's crazy because I had a guy order some phone stands, right? He ordered some phone stands from me, and I messed up. It was my fault. He lives in Humble, Texas. And I wrote Houston, Texas, right? So he, he messaged me. He's like, hey, I haven't got my, my stuff yet. And I was like, all right, let me check it out. So then I put a claim in for it, right? They, the, as soon as I made a claim, not even like 10 minutes later, they called me. And they were like, oh, you can't make a claim. And I'm like, why not? And they're like, because you put Houston, Texas, not Humble, Texas. So I was like, okay. So they're like, you got to reroute it and get it sent back to you. And then you could send it back to him. So I was like, okay, cool. So what I did was I, I called him back and I was like, hey man, my fault. I put humble, I put Houston instead of humble. And he's like, oh, no problem. You know what I mean? So I said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ship you um, another 50 of them. So he's like, okay. Two days later, he calls me and tells me the package that I sent that was wrong, they sent it to him anyways. I was like, so why'd they make a big deal and say I couldn't make a claim about it, but then they still send it to him, which was dumb. So those look good. Look good. So I'm going to take these off since everybody's gone, except Lori. Lori's still here. No, I got it. Lori's still here. You guys just got here with screen printing. Thanks for stopping by. Smash that thumbs up for me one time. If you haven't done it yet.
Might need another box because these hoodies are gonna make it fill up really, really fast. Is it full already? The box? Gotta get over there before you start to fall. Run. Here they come. So yeah, if you guys order anything from me, yes, Brad, bad Brad, the the dryer is directional so what I did is, <coughs> excuse me what I did is I put the plug right here on the on the inside of the wall and then with that you can go in there and put your settings however you want to do it so I have them going this way but it is yes Rodrigo what's going on appreciate it man appreciate it this man is about the people. If you're talking about me, I am. If you guys, um, if you guys, if sin, sinister, if you're talking about me, I am. It's all about, it's all about you guys. Okay, right. So I'm going to go take these. Mike. Uh, Lori said you said something about collaborating. I'm down for it. Just let me know. I am down for whatever. Yeah, Mike, let me know. Um, I'm, I'm Hard and Hustle Printing. I'll probably forget your name, but yeah, just send me a message on Instagram. Um, let me know. It's obviously, it's what was it, Mike? Because if I get out of this and try to go find you, it's going to end this live that we're on. Nav design on Instagram. Nav design, okay. Yeah, so um, as of yesterday, was it yesterday or today? What is when it? you switched to FedEx. Yeah, so what, what it's going to do is if there's smaller packages, So if they're over three pounds, we're gonna ship through FedEx, right? If your package is over three pounds, we'll fit, we'll ship it through FedEx. But if it's under three pounds, it costs us too much to ship it through FedEx. So if, I mean, even if we don't ship it through FedEx, it is tracked, it is insured. If you don't get it, don't worry, I'm gonna, I'll send it right back out to you so that you guys can get your stuff, right? I thought it was a lot more hoodies. They just look more bulky, I guess. Hoodies just look bulky. After we get done with this, Last go round, six more hoodies. Turn this back up. How 
hard is DTG to learn? I've heard, so I have a, I have a guy that I get from here. Um, I just want to know how hard it is to learn it. I have a guy in Denver. If you guys know um, SE Shirt and Hoodies, he does direct garment. He said it can be a headache. Um, what's your thoughts on a direct garment pre pre treat machine? I guess you need a heat press. You need a heat a good heat press to heat press the design after you get done. Definitely a learning curve, but once you get it dialed in, it's easy. You have to untrump it, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's like the embroidery. Um, whenever I first thought, whenever I first got it, I was like, "Let's do this," and it was not like that. So I'm still learning it. You know, I'm not gonna say I know it. I just the guy that digitized my work did a good job. And as long as I put the right colors in, line it up right, it should come out good, right? Um, again, like I said, if you guys need some digitized work, go to my Instagram. Look them up. Got some blue stuck under here. I'm going to clean that off real quick. not coming off. Oh, okay. That's my dude right there. Sean. Sean? Sometimes. He's not busy. He did one the other day. He's doing a giveaway. For a DTG machine. <laughs> I'm gonna print this again and see if I'm getting a, a good, if the till's still coming out good. If it's not coming out good, I'm gonna have to use some screen opener. I don't know why it clogged up like that. Last one, I think we're good. Who's giving away a DTG? What's the job for? This job, um, Sinister, are you talking about this job? This job is for um, the balance view. That's what they're, they're called, the, the name of the, the lady that is doing this. So these, she did this as a fundraiser. Uh, not a fundraiser, what did I say it was called? To raise money. For an organization, an organization to, I don't want to say it wrong again. To help the fight against uh, human trafficking. That's what it's for. So if you guys want to purchase one of these, go to Instagram, The Balanced Few, ask her how you can get your hands on it. Cause she's she's selling them. I don't know what she's selling them for, um, but if you guys are interested in one, you can find her on Instagram. I think I printed almost a hundred shirts and hoodies all together for her. 
So she raised some good money on this stuff that she's for a good cause. So I'm gonna turn on the heat press real quick. I turn on the heat press because hoodies, they have so much fibers on them. Um, I like to heat press them to knock those fibers and everything down, make it nice and flat, soft finish, um, because I don't have a flattening screen. So fantastic. So I do, I do, I have done it for people in the past. So um, someone wants to say, say it was you and you wanted to buy these three screens right here, I would charge you like 45 bucks or 30 to 30 to 40, 45, somewhere around there, depending on what I was, what, what mesh you wanted or whatever. Um, per screen, I would burn them and then send them to you. If that's what you're asking, I'm not sure. But I have done it for people before. Even people that are here local, I've done it for them. I've even, I've even had a lady come into come into the shop. I did all I did all the prep work for her, and then she came in and printed her shirts. And I just charged her so much. I just charged her to print so much per shirt. But I I gave her everything. It was her job. I gave her everything, and then I just charged her to print per shirt. <coughs> That's it. Turn that off. Got a little bit quieter. box over there so I gotta make this quick. Then they're gonna fall on the floor. What's that? No, you don't have to. I'll, I'll get over there before they fall. Thousand by tomorrow. All right, so here they come. As they come out, I'm just gonna take them. I turn the heat press on so we can heat press. And I turn the heat press on so we can press these the hoodies because okay. there's just a lot of fiber on this. These these are coming out good. Turn this off, and when I turn it off, you're gonna see it's gonna go faster. And it's gonna has to cool down to like 200 degrees, something like that, but it's currently at like 700, 736 degrees inside of there. 733. We're gonna take these over to the heat press once that thing warms up. Press all the hoodies. Ready? Yeah. And 
bear goodies over there? We have parchment paper, right? Yes, in the bottom of the uh the folks of While I'm waiting for this thing to heat up, what I'm gonna do is Oh you Oh, you just want to buy, you just want, so you what you want is the film, right? You want to buy the film, like this. So it's like, these are the customers that we're working on, right? So what you want to do is you want, you want to buy this. This is what you want, right? Is that what you want? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Um, it all depends on what, what you want done, you know what I mean? If you want the, the artwork separated and if you want it to be separated and ready to go so that whenever you get it, all you got to do is, no, yeah, it all depends if you want them separated. If you have a, how many colors you have, you know what I mean? Say you have a three color job or a four color job, um, it's going to cost a little bit more just because of the film, you know what I mean? So I don't even know, I've never priced I've never been asked that before, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. I don't want to lie to you, you know what I mean? I never thought about it. You put me on the spot. I mean, I, I would have to, I don't even know. I'm not going to lie to you. What to charge per film, just for the film. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to lie to you and just, I don't want to say like, yeah, I'll charge you three bucks. And then later on, I'm like, sorry, I have to charge you four. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so I don't want to, I don't want to give you a price without me. Five per film. So see, there you go. I'll charge you four then. There you go. For the people. Four dollars, but then you gotta pay for shipping on top of that. You know what I mean? So, so this is the next one that we're getting ready to do. I'm just gonna get it ready. I'll probably print like one or two just to see how it's gonna look. Um, for now, but I'm not going to do these until tomorrow. Let me grab one. These right here, right? Yeah. Man, that's a big shirt. That's a big one. That's an apron right there. That's a dress. I want to sleep in it. So we got a bunch of these to do. So I just, I'm just gonna do one. <laughs> I'll charge three ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll charge three ninety eight. Can someone block him from this channel for promoting himself on my channel? Block him. Block him. That guy. No, I'm just kidding. It's all good. If, if Rice closer to you, get him done from him. I'm in Georgia. He's in Cali. If you're in Cali, get them done from him because what's going to happen is if you get them from me, it's going to cost you more to get them shipped over there. Um, all right, good night, um, Sinister. Good night. Appreciate you stopping by. Good night. My white screen is falling down. Oh, yeah. It wasn't falling down until you got here. 99 cents. It's like the voodoo of Rye over there. Look at that. I just want to get this lined up. It's polyester. What is this?
So I'm going three fingers on, oh my bad, I thought y'all were looking at what I was doing. So, I adjusted my laser now because we're done with all their shirts. Yeah, come by, man. So, here we are. We got like three fingers. So, so I did have stickers, but I think Lori threw them away. Rye Beat sent me some stickers for my table. Like this right here. So if you guys got stickers, send them and I'll put them on here. Look, there's Gina. There's Sean from SC Shirt and Hoodies. Renter and Sons. Who else we got on here? We have some guy named Liberty Graphics over here. A Rye Beat sent me some, but I think Lori said threw them away. I did not. I think Lori threw them in the trash. He lost them. <laughs> I I know she gave them to me. I just was like, oh, cool. I'm going to save them so I could do like a video and then say I'm putting them out here. Oh, that's way. Man, this is hard. See? Say, what size is shirt? This is a, a youth small. I don't like to say what size people are wearing. But it's, it's for some high school kids. I think it's a 4X. <clears throat> so I'm going to print this. Three inches down. What do you have to <laughs> What do you say? Maybe I'll just paint your name on there. I even have a duck on there. Look at this. From we carry this glitter at our store from the glitter guy. Where's it at? There it is, right there. The glitter guy. And then all the soccer shirts that we get, they send me stickers. The vinyl stand. Keep pressing. I need to order some. Oh yeah, graphics warehouse. Who's this? Um, and me. Uh. The sticker mule. Sticker mule. This is a school here, local, that came and got stickers done from us. I outsourced those. But here we go. Let's see. So that's good. Off contact. Good. Put some tape. Ready for tomorrow. What's your feedback about futures of sublimation? The feedback of what? Future. Future of sublimation? Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of people are starting to do it now. It's just going to be a lot of, I think, if, you, if you're going to get into it, now's the time to get into it. Sublimation printing. I mean, they always do, they've always done sublimation printing, especially like, you just got to have the big, super big printer, the super big heat press if you're trying to do the all over print. You know what I mean? You do need that. If you're looking to do prints like that, right? So what I'm going to do is... Since we're done with this, that one. Let me 
take this around. I'm gonna take this off of here. No test print. So if we have pinholes, we're gonna see them. Red is having red. We're doing red and blue. Why don't you just do it on that thing? No, that's good. There's no pinholes in there. I know there's not. We got red and blue shirts. After I do the first print, I'm always worried that I misspelled it. Hmm? I push. It depends on what I'm doing. The other day I did some, um, I did a two color job like this. So it was, um, let me show you. It was, it was this, but then they, it was, what color were those shirts that we did? The other ones with the, where it was red, it was white with red. Anyways, I did a two color job where it was one color and then another color in the inside. So I, I, the first one, I pushed it, and then when I filled in the inside, I pulled it because it was coming out better when I would pull it. But if you do it one way and then you go back and do your second print, don't do it the other way because you'll, you'll get that ghost effect or whatever it is. That looks good. I just wanted to get this one ready for tomorrow, but there it is. Looks good, right? So put this one Okay. That's what's up. Yep, get those wholesale license and tax ID number. Cause think about it, whenever if you don't have a tax ID number and you are um say you go to S and say you go to S and S because you can use your, your resale license there so they don't charge you taxes. But if you if you buy if you buy from them you pay taxes, right? And then you sell a shirt if you charge taxes at the end of the year you got to pay taxes so then you pay taxes to buy it and then you're paying taxes at the end of the year so you're getting double dipped on taxes you use your resale license you order from a reseller or a wholesaler you don't pay taxes and then at the end of the year you pay taxes so then you only pay one time yeah congrats Sin sinister and a lot of people don't know that they're like why well, I don't need it. I'll just pay my taxes at the end of the year. But every time you buy shirts from whoever you buy shirts from, you're paying taxes at the end of the year. You're paying taxes. So you're paying taxes twice. So like... Uh Whoever it was earlier, I forget. I'm bad with names. Um, I 
I'm going to use parchment paper over this. And what it's going to do is it's going to give it a nice, soft feel whenever we press it. Same as having a flattening screen. Now, you guys can't feel it. But you guys can't feel it. But now that, it's hot, that thing's hot. But now we have a nice, soft, smooth finish compared to this one. If you listen to this, listen to this. You hear that? That's how rough it is. Now you hear this one. It's like nice and smooth. I'll show you up close what I'm talking about. Look. Look at the pineapple. If you can see that. See the see the pineapple, how it's nice and flat. Compared to this one, look at this one. See that? You can see. See that? So now watch, whenever I do this, it's gonna give us that nice soft feel. And it, and it, like I, I always say, man, it like, feels like vinyl. All it's doing is it's heating up the, the Plastisol ink and with the pressure, it's just making it flat. Now, see if you can see the difference on it. You don't see all those little fibers, hairy fibers sticking up. DJ Scratch Wiki Wiki. <laughs> DJ Scratch. You know what I'm talking about, right, Juan? I mean, what the? <laughs> Damn, I just called you Juan. <laughs> oh, my God. Right, right. You know what I'm talking about, right? Lori's on there laughing. Hello. <laughs> Called you Beaner. <laughs> I'm delirious. Man. Hey, it's my fault. I'm delirious. I was up late, and here I am again. It's already gonna be midnight again. What do you say? What did Rice say? DJ scratch test. <laughs> That's funny. Can you bring me that little gray shirt that had all those little hair sticking up to? So I can press that one. Por favor. You should do a video on the topic to uniform new entrepreneurs. You know, I would I would like to, but then I don't want to be considered. I'm not saying anything bad about them, but I don't want to be considered. Um, Is that a baby shirt? Yeah, I don't want to be considered like trying to be like a Stan Banks. You know what I mean? That's what he does. Um, my my biggest thing is um, Lori. He said she said he said Lori kick him for me. My biggest thing is um, when it comes to when it comes to to being an entrepreneur or doing what you what you want to do. You know what I mean? It's all about self self promoting yourself. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's way better. Nobody nobody's gonna promote you the way you can promote yourself. You know what I mean? Um, this 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 lady here. Um, she she tagged me in in her post of when she did she came to the shop she she took some videos of me doing this for her she put it on her page and she tagged me in it you know what I mean and and that's cool I appreciate that you know what I mean um, 
And that's one way to get out there, you know what I mean? Another way to get out there is doing stuff like this. You know what I mean? You guys that are here right now that aren't local or don't know me would have never known me if I didn't do this, you know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't be getting jobs from social media, you know what I mean? Social media is the new way to promote yourself, promote a business, you know what I mean? You can do commercials and spend thousands and thousands of dollars on commercials, um, but you're going to get people that are local, you know what I mean? I did that. I put a post on Facebook. I put a post on Facebook saying that I was a new business here in this town and that we had this, this store and the vinyl stand, and that's when the guy came in from the director of the Bulls League came over here and wanted to come talk to me and see the shop. So um, that was cool, you know, and he came in, he said, I'll bring you all my work, you give me good prices. So that's what we did. So that's, that's a blessing right there because um, he already told us how much he's gonna be bringing us throughout the year, you know what I mean? So that's, that's the biggest thing I could say, you know what I mean? I'm not, I just, I just don't want to get on there and then people start to try to compare me or trying to say that I'm trying to be like someone when it's not even like that, you know what I mean? I just, I just do my own thing um, and do, do the best I can, you know what I mean? And then my daughters, they help out with, uh, my sister-in-law helps out here. She does all of, all the admin work here. Um, she set up my, you guys check out my, my website. She's, she's fixed all that up for me. Um, what else, what else haven't you done? Do everything. <laughs> she does everything, right? Um, yeah, so she's, she's helped out a lot being here. Um, and eventually, I hope that I can, there's a whole bunch of little like karate places around here. Um, I want to go to those little places and ask them if they want to pick up some shirts for their business, you know what I mean? Um, so I got the Bulls Soccer League um, right down in this same, this same complex or whatever this is. There's a Greenbrier, Greenbrier Gym. I have, I do all of their work. Um, with that being said, um, this lady right here is a personal trainer that works at that, at that gym. So she does her own thing on the side, right? So I got her work, you know what I mean, coming in here too. I haven't finished her job yet, but she's already coming here and seen him and she loves, she loves him, excuse me. So you keep those people happy they're going to come back, you know what I mean? Some people might say that I take on too much. Someone has said that I take on too much, but it's okay. Um, it's all good. I'm Rai's going to come over here. Imagine your manage manage your business, yep. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean, and that's that's what that's why that's why I I can I can get on there and tell people this is what I did. Do this, do that. I I like to show I, I, my channel started out as me helping you got helping whoever. You know what I mean, and I plan to keep it like that. I've had offers like every other YouTuber. I had offers from stalls. I had offers from heat transfer warehouse. But no, I, didn't, I can't take them, and here's the reason why. Because they want to give me 10% like everybody else. They want to give me 10%, and with that 10%, I got to promote their vinyl. So I got a store where I sell vinyl, right? Why would I promote their vinyl? And that's what happened with Total Link Solution. He wanted me to sell his Ameriflex. I told him, nope. He got mad and he blocked me. 
grown ass man. It's all good though. I still support him because if you look at all the ink, I have all ink from Total Ink Solution. But I just, I ordered ink from um, Screen Print Direct the other day. No, I didn't, yeah. Sad. Grown ass man. Blocked me. You know how I got blocked? You know, you know how I know? Because whenever you Google someone's, you Google someone's, you look up someone on Instagram and you can't find them, it says this account, this account does not exist, right? So if I block you from um, Hard Nussle Printing, it's going to tell you this account does not exist, right? If you go and you Google Total Link Solutions or Hard Nussle Printing, it's going to show you a link to their or my um, Instagram account. But then when you go and you click it, it's going to tell you this, this account, this account does not exist. You would have done this. You know what? I'm going to take your stickers and on the next live. <laughs> I'm going to chop them up live, live for right. All right, but we're going to get out of here. We gotta go get beer before it closes. Betsy lost her tooth. She lost her tooth. Alright, so we're gonna get out of here. Um, I probably won't go live tomorrow. It's been like two days. But I appreciate all of you guys that came in here. Yeah, sad man. Here's 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 what here's what upset me, right? Because I order all of their ink, right? I love their ink. I do, I do. You know what I mean? And I'll order it until they say, until he hears me talking crap about Total Link Solutions on here. And he says, every time Joe places an order, don't accept it. Right? Whatever. Until then, I'm going to keep ordering it. Right? But he won't block my money. Right? Um, but I reached out to him and I asked him if he was willing to do an affiliate program with me because I buy all their ink and I promote it so much. And he told me no. He told me no. Because I was working from my garage rock, because I was working from home. He told me no. So I was like, all right, cool, whatever, right? I got a store. I bought the store, the vinyl stand. And for some reason, he wanted to take me serious, right? Reached out to me, wanted me to sell his vinyl, wanted to give me an opportunity. I told him no. He got upset, blocked me like a little kid. But it's all good. It's all good. All right, I'm out of here. I will see you guys on the next one. I'll be posting a video tomorrow for sure. I already have it. Let me see. I just got to post it. That's all I have to do. Uh, let me just double check. Look, there it is. Look at that video. You get a sneak peek. Look at that. Yep. Doing some embroidery. All right, so I'll be posting this video tomorrow so you guys check it out for me. You guys, whenever you guys watch, hit that thumbs up. It helps our channel. If you're here and you have been here in the background and you have not said anything, I appreciate you guys um, for being here. All right, so um, make sure you guys, there's another YouTuber in here, Rye Beats. Go check him out um, on his YouTube channel. He does the same thing I do, so go check him out. He does a lot of good work. Any of you guys that have a YouTube channel, post it, Instagram channel right now. I, if it blocks you, I'll let it go through. So go ahead and post it out there right now, and then we're going to get out of here, right? Not many people will let you do that. Big Camps, thanks for stopping by. I miss all you guys. It's been a while since we've done lives, but we will get back into them. Rye, pay attention. Hey, Richard, thanks for stopping by. Martin, thanks for the info. I appreciate it. Linda Gomez, good night. Two Family Homestead, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate all of you guys, right?
Thank you guys for watching. Again, Oscar, take it easy. Key print, take it easy. All right. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you guys for all the support. With everything that's going on in the world, you guys stay safe out there. Stay healthy. And until next time, what are we going to do? Hold on. Where's the end button? How do I end this? I can't even find the end button. I wouldn't even know how to end it. What? It's crazy. Did it end? No. Yeah, I keep pressing, but I can't even find the thing to end the live. What? <laughs> nope, that's the ceiling. That's definitely the ceiling. No! Cancel. Okay, there it is. It's an X. It's not a stop. All right, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up. Um, I really appreciate it. 24-hour live stream, right? Uh, whenever I get out the military and I'm doing this full time, maybe. All right. But thank you guys for watching. You guys stay safe, stay healthy. Check out this video tomorrow. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you guys do embroidery with anything that you guys see that I do that you guys know different uh, ways around it. Let me know. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking around for two hours, 58 minutes and counting. Till next time, keep pressing.